All right, dropping. Yup. So I started the video with one of the last ones of the day. This is Owen. He's actually a local here. He has a downhill bike. I have a hard tail. We couldn't decide who should actually be because we don't know who's faster. But even if we were on even skill level, he has a downhill bike. By default, he should be faster than me. So we let him lead. And it was good because he actually was picking out all these little things to uh, boost up. And I was able to follow it. It was pretty fun. So it was good riding with you, Owen. Thanks for leading the way, even though that was your first time. Sorry for making another Powder Ridge video, but it is a really good small downhill park system. It's good for all skill levels, and it's as difficult as you want it to be, or as difficult as you make it to be. You go slow, it's going to be easy. You go fast, it's going to be hard. The only thing strange about this trail is that the trail ratings don't really match what you think it is. So for an example, Flow Dog is a blue, and Raptor is black, but I honestly think Flow Dog is more difficult than Raptor is, so... And also that drop that I felt not gonna fall, I'm gonna show you later. That drop is called half pipe. That's probably one of the most difficult things on the trail itself, the entire park, because everything has to be done in such a small window, succession after succession. And it's a pretty decent sized drop afterwards. And they rate that as a blue. But I think it should have been a real black. Nobody rides it either. I've only seen like two other people ride this from all the time that I've been here. So, yeah, ignore the trail ratings. Greens will be greens, but the blacks and the blues can easily be swapped around. Oh, you all right? We'll scout the place first. Yeah. All right, so first you go here. There's that little hip jump there. So you hit this jump. We gotta go, I mean, if you wanna scout it out, so then this will pretty much launch you to here. <laughs> And then it's like a drop, and then you land there. It's kind of slippery here, though. If you don't like full send, yeah, you kind of land like where it's 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 like a it's a jump to flat basically. Yeah. So it's gonna hurt. This is actually like a, a like a yeah, slight yeah, kicker. More of a transition, yeah. Yeah, and you have to. This lip is kind of eroded, but you have to ride that to get over into here. So you yeah, got to know how to speed. bunny hop the bike almost. Yeah. Huh. Yeah, I'm all right. Something got caught on that jump. I gotta do it again. Okay, maybe I won't send it on that hip jump so hard. Huh. Fuck, I bent my lever. Okay. That was filming the whole time. All right, I'm not gonna go full send on that one. Oh shit, my bar's bent too. They can be second guessing myself now. Ooh. Ha -ha. All right, 
it, guys. Let's roll. I almost run off here. So now This train is long. It's like all discombobulated. Raptor dropping. off the trail. Ah! <laughs> Here's the drop.
right, dropping. Just go slower. Little bruiser. Little bruiser actually is becoming one of my favorite trails in Pound Ridge because if you ride it slow, it's very unremarkable. However, if you just fully send the thing no brakes, just pedal and pump, go as fast as you can, it's actually a really fun trail. It is rated in green. But it loops around most of the mountain, and this is the straightest, flowiest trail on the entire mountain. So, yeah, I actually love Little Bruiser now. Head drop it in. Ooh, almost went off the bars on that one. I 
I am part of the Long Island Mountain Bikers Facebook group. I'm always down to meet other people to ride. A lot of the people here, we were rolling 9 deep today. And yeah, we're all friends or a crew of another crew. So, always down to ride. Just join and hit me up a message and we'll ride together. Thanks for watching. Bye. Huh.